We're calling our meeting to order here on Wednesday, February 1st at 5.20 p.m. with Roxy Parent, Lee Whitcomb, Russ French, and Laura Lucier in, in uh, attendance here. And I don't think we have anyone online yet. Nope. Okay. We do not. They don't know what they're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they do. <laughs> Maybe they do, yeah. Okay. So first item of business is to read over the minutes. The only thing I have a question on, or should we add, we did a letter, we reviewed the letter for the homeowners for inspection. Yeah. And we I've were redone it. Oh, oh, I was just going to say, should we add that, that we were going to redo it? Oh, well, I don't. We'll come up in this week's. Yeah. Okay. So don't. Yeah. Not like we've passed I think it. we're okay there. Okay. Okay. That's right. What's DLTA? It was that list of projects that Veronique sent over uh, that we each chose one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we have the results on that. Oh. Okay. So we'll sign one. So uh, have I a motion to accept the minutes as read? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. 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 Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay, next we go to new mail and invoices. Uh, in new mail is the response on that DLTA survey. Mm -hmm. And the selectmen went all through them. And number one ended up being abandoned and distressed properties. That surprised me. Yeah, me too. Do we first, have a lot first of interest? We have, yes, yes, we do. We have a number of properties that are empty. Uh, in most cases, people are still paying taxes on them, but they're suffering physically. Right, the, one, the, the properties are. Right mm -hmm. across the street. Right across the street is one of them. Oh, there, next you know, to me. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and yeah. 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 And one not too far from me there on the big corner. So, so the thought is to look at them and see if they can in any way be yeah. used in a in, in a useful manner, um, whether it be acquired and converted to another use, like shared senior housing, something like that, who knows? That will be part of the project to determine what might be done with them. And it would have to be on an individual basis. You know, depending upon what is that something the planning board gets involved with? Oh yes, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. Number two was age and dementia friendly planning, and number three was river corridor uh, management. I don't know if we picked any of them. Yeah, you picked the river corridor, I, I think, and I thought you picked the age and age and uh, age planning. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. That, and the, yeah, so that's the results, and they'll be continuing on with that. And if you we can initial that. And that was just um, who was voting on that? Just the, the selectmen. Just the, select the selectmen board. got together all of the returns. Yeah. But who was voting? They collated them, and they didn't vote. They board, simply committee and employee board. gave yeah. their opinion. Okay. Right, and then they simply collated the answers for us. Right. And then shows what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and in mail we have a return of the three ABC form, the annual three ABC from the Massachusetts Audubon Society. Can I please have that to go with the others? This? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when we're done. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We're putting a nice pile together there for you. Thank you. <laughs> So this is just to acknowledge that we've received it. They are very good. They send everything required every year. Um, is this for the field down there? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, for their properties, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is 
Is that the only one? I think seen? that the last of the buildings has been taken down. As far as I know, all the buildings. Yes. 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 They're showing that. Oh, we did. Still had we a did get one from the fireman's auxiliary last week. Oh, good. That's on, on my desk. Okay. Next what week. What building are they showing? I don't. It's a little shed, probably eleven hundred dollars, or a little part of the old barn that was left. Is that the tobacco one? No. We wouldn't have made that in. That, we had that in for zero. I'm quite sure. I'll double check. I didn't think there was anything left on there. Yeah. Right. I don't think there is now. Because so, that's the only property. Yes, that's the only uh, property they have in Conway. I'm just making myself a note to check for everything. And basically, that was all the mail. Um, we have the bill from W.B. Mason, two little bills for a new notebook and uh, lined paper and a new binder and lined paper. And uh, Jan has gone ahead and paid them already. If she pays very promptly, we get a 5% discount. So she goes on the Mason account and sees it and bingo. But we still, I still want you to, you know, see the, um, yeah, if there's ever a larger purchase that you don't want her to do that, I can tell her right not to. But it's a shame to lose the discount to oh, yeah. wait the two weeks for a meeting. But and I'm sure it adds up over the course of the year. Adds up a lot. Sure, because we buy you know furniture and all kinds of good things from them. Mm -hmm. I mean, your desks, yeah, complex here was from them. Yeah. yeah, and all three of the little baby file cabinets that are underneath. Right, yeah. right. What was uh, just initial at the top of the invoices. Yep. Yeah. Oh, each one? Yes, please. Okay. There's just twos there. So yeah. The initial we're all set. Yep, we're all set. Then go. Yep, we're in that final now. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we do have one deed <clears throat> since the last meeting, but it's simply from themselves to trusts. So nothing exciting for the amount of one dollar. Oh, yeah. There are five permits in there, but there's nothing really. Yes, yes. Sorry. Oh, you want to? No, yeah, nothing really. All right. Yeah. What are you looking for? Oh, I reprinted them and brought yep, them yep, to yep, you. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and I was putting them in the wrong order here. The wrong one with the wrong one. <laughs> I did double check the amounts, and Jan also yes. has emailed me her amounts. So, okay, good. And there is an abatement that goes with that one. Yes. I'll get another new mm -hmm. pen so I'm not signing this in red. Wise choice. Yeah. You can use this one and sign it in pink. <laughs> I think I have an orange over there. Oh, hmm? 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 It's temp rooftop unit. Temporary rooftop unit for a central air, usually. Oh, okay. I think so.
Okay, we also have two motor vehicle warrants, uh, what might be the last one for 2022 to sign, and the big first one for 2023. Oh, oh yes, 1970 bills. Hmm. They'll be going out. I'm not going to look through that. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure my name's in there five or six times. I expect it might be. Oh, so that's everybody's car? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you had a car for a few years, you know, you'll come in on the January bill now. Mm -hmm. And so, yes. Then as cars are sold, you know, like in January, we'll get the bill in March, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go more than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Maybe I better look and see if I got rid of some ball. <laughs> well, you know where to get the paperwork if you did. Yeah, I'll just. Is there an increase in dollar value? I don't know. Can you, can you tell? I didn't even look at mine to yeah. see. No, no, I no, mean, no, I mean, I mean all the first total 1970 in the first one. Uh, we'd have to look at the um, commitment for the first one for last year. I can check it. Yeah. Um, this is an abatement for a vehicle, a town vehicle that sneaked past us on one of the billings. So we have to abate it in full. Um, and it was a 22 bill. There we go. What I do? I'm just going to look and see if I can have that motor vehicle. The first one from last year? Yeah. It's in there. Yeah. yeah. Or I can just open a vault and grab a book. There we go. <laughs> it's not locked, is it? Oh, yeah, but you know, it's quicker for me to open the vault. I think it is. For you to open the file, probably. <laughs> okay, next we go to the vehicle new growth and any other data changes. Well, we have the ones we worked on the other day, plus I have. Um, Several more. Then we skip the whoops. What recent sales? Oh, oh sorry. Things. We did new permits. We did that. Oh, we... there aren't the the new sales was that one to trust mm -hmm. themselves to the trust the donor listings. No, there was no, no. The Upper Baptist Hill is off the bar is off the market, mm -hmm. and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, an offer has been accepted on that. I guess. I understand it. What was this year's? 205,500? Yeah. And 1970. Yeah, last bills. year's was 210,857. But then they were. Huh? Did it say how many bills at the end? What's the number for the last one? Well, after the adjustment, 
1933. Okay, so more bills. But then they pulled the towns. Yeah. So, so it was one. It was, yeah, it was 199,739 with 1,905 bills. Oh, okay, so then the the value is up. Right. Yeah. Well. People, well, are people, people, people are <laughs> buying new cars. Yeah, people are replacing yeah. older cars, yeah. Yeah, not all of us. No, I was surprised that, you know, an older one used to go down a lot more, and now they're keeping it up. That was a little Used surprising. car sales prices went up about 40% this year. Between 20 and 40%, depending on the brand. Again this year? Wow. In 22? Yeah. In 20, you mean 22? 22. Oh, yeah. wow. Because I thought I was reading where the, the used sales are coming down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know uh, for this year, but maybe that's the prediction. <laughs> okay, our visits and values. Um, as I say, we have. Uh... Did we do new? Are we skipping new growth? Well, that's it. New growth and data, data changes and visits and values. It all comes in one little lump here. Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, including an abatement. Um, I was able to print out Carla Harlow's card and so forth. So we'll finish that up. And uh, no. Well, we'll have that ready to sign very shortly. The problem that we were having with the uh, individual accounts not being able to commit and close out was solved uh, very nicely by um, Andrew Smolik at, at Tyler. He got that taken care of, or he, and he said it was nothing that we did on this end. So there was so there was a problem with straightening out. Yes, design. remember I couldn't get it to calculate on on that one on any of them that week. Okay, yeah, you said you were having a problem. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. And so I contacted them. I sent you copies of the email. You sent me some, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he took care of it very promptly and I was able to do all of them. Oh. Yep. So I'll just set that one aside for the moment. Now we went to see quite a few and we need to discuss what we're doing there. The biggest and best is the Martyr property, probably of the ones we've seen. And this is as it was billed, the figure as billed. That was for 2022? For 23. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then what were, we corrected it to with new growth, came up to 822. Now, it actually comes down overall from, we end up giving them an abatement because we took out those interior finishes, but we still have new growth as well. So I have to figure out the interior finishes, get them off there. Their bill, total bill will be going down. Wait a minute, you've <laughs> got me confused. Okay, as it was well, billed. I, yes, I got that. It included all those interior finish lines. But why do you need to, we didn't abate abate them. No, but we took them out. Oh, right. So it's not an abatement. It's an adjustment to their value mm -hmm. because of items that were removed mm -hmm. from valuation. So they were billed for 948. Their actual corrected bill is 822. Yep. And that includes the new growth. Last year, their total was 640. You know, I was thinking about this just because I have a question as to things going on. Um, 
now we, they have an attached garage now. So how are we building that? Because it's now, a detached structure. But it's all attached. But it's a garage. It's built very differently. It's totally built totally differently from any of the rest of that building. I realize that. So I can't, there's, there's no way I can, uh, in fact, as a detached building, the studios uh, don't allow for an attached garage. Detached buildings don't. And the studios are listed under detached building. Mm -hmm. Because it just seems odd that, you know, a house, if you add a garage, it's considered attached. And Generally speaking. Yes. And well, if you put it on to connect it to well, we, we talked about this comes under the same philosophy as the places here in the village that have an old barn on the back. Right. And I still, I don't agree with that because if it's built the same year as the house, even though it's was an old barn, it should be depreciated to the house or whatever. And we can still depreciate it from the time it was built or from its effective age. Absolutely. And we do. Well, from what but I we're understand. Not, we're not going to cost it at the same dollar per square foot as the house. Okay. Well, it's a studio. Yes. Yeah. yeah and this case, a garage attached to a studio. The studio, the garage is nowhere near the quality construction that the studio is. True. But a detached garage is still more expensive than a um, attached one. I don't think so in this particular case because we're saying that it's quite old. Um, yeah, what do you have for year? 1940. Mm -hmm. So we're saying that it's 80 years old to start with. So it's going to have a large amount of depreciation probably okay. because of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I question if they, I mean, they put a new building in between it. Right. Yes. So I would still have to consider it a detached, even though. Yeah, I mean, I know they filled in the space. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just trying to be consistent because I still don't understand some of the others in town where you're detaching them when they're obviously attached. They've probably been built when the house was built. And to evaluate them yep. differently. I know we've been over this a lot of times, Roxy. I know, and, and I don't, and I, I don't, don't see I don't what you don't it. understand. I mean, I, I, I don't I can't right. figure out how to explain it any better. Well, I guess I would like to sit down and see if you attached it, how it would work out, because I feel as though you can't. We should not be assessing it to make more money on it because you want to detach right. it. They're generally, they're worth fraction of the house so i i guess just to make me feel better i'd like to see it attached in a property card and see how it would work out all right well we're getting okay off well, yeah well i know okay. but that's what i would like that, to do that should be okay that's a work session, session. a take work session card, or take yep. one card and... uh -huh. yes right. yep yep I so agree. that would increase the value of that that section though would it not no. That would be my expectation, yes. Because it would increase the square footage value to the same as the house. No. No, it's it would not be a garage, but it would be like a 1920 garage. I don't know. We'll have to try it and see. Yeah. Um, so are we in agreement uh, on our final value of 822 after having made the changes we made the other day? Yeah, because we, yeah. Yeah, we I took out, the, we took out all are. the interior finishes. Um. What is it? I, I'm I'm curious. I know I'm not an assessor, but now my curiosity is taking out the interior finishes change the condition? No. It... We found that using their, we, we had had two categories in there for studios. One that we had put in, which is a very basic uh, studio, kind of a minimal, minimal finish. The one they have put in, the RL1, certainly appears to include interior finish. And I, so by I, I using it a gallery one, instead of a studio yes. is, in, is the way by I using, thought about it. By using the RL1, that already accounted for the interior finish. So by listing interior finish separately, we were double billing. Mm. So we took those out. Mm. I understand. Yeah. I, I just, yep. I was thinking of conversations that we've had in the past about 
and right. thinking house and interior finishes and no. yeah. No. So. I mean, all the house values include the interior right. finish. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But this being an outbuilding, okay. I had to look at it a little, a little differently. So um, move to accept 822 as the final value on this property. I'll second it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Owen, any further okay. discussion or questions? No? no, I think we went over it the other day and I think mm -hmm. we thought okay. it was worked out well. Good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, please initial. Mm -hmm. What yeah. is other though? To look at the or look at the back at the hundred eighty square feet. Make sure I get that because I need to mail that to them. Is that the little shed down near the pool? Might be. Have we developed the cover letter yet? That's going to go with these ten by twenty. Not that's going to go with those. No. I have the new cover letter to send out to ask for appointments. Right, but we were going to do a new, uh, just a short. Yes, you I know. Will. After a site visits, there may have been changes to your property. Yep, priorities. but in this case, there are interesting changes in both directions. Mm -hmm. Well, it should be listed on here. Yep. Can't see what's one eighty. Oh, miscellaneous value. Uh, kitchen. The kitchen in the main park. Is what. Is 180, it's a miscellaneous value. They don't have kitchens and outbuildings listed. So I had to go look it up and. But I thought we weren't listing that. The kitchen? In the studio? Right. Yes, of course. Yeah, we were listing the kitchen and the bathroom. Bathroom. So you're listing that separately? Yes. Yeah. Because good. they're not included in a studio. Okay. Yeah. Just so as that's, we had to add that's other. Okay. Right. Just as we had to add the fireplace and the bathroom in the other section. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um I got going on several of these and they need determinations of grade and condition and how complete they are. This one is the Pioneer, the Habitat house. And so the um, this is the shed. And we haven't gone into the Habitat house. Well, we did early on in the framing. We did. Yes. Um, but there's nothing really interior, no interior finish. I looked in the window and there was some stuff yeah. there. And that's about that's it. All they haven't done. Any no, they haven't done anything yet, but. They did, they've got the outside. The right. Finish. As far as completion, uh, excavation forms, backfill, rough lumber, roofing is done. Insulation and weather stripping is done. No, it, were the walls insulated? No. No. The exterior had all this, the uh, siding on. Right. Siding was completed. Right. <clears throat> Sash doors and shutters, the area all in. Yeah, windows. So I think that those categories are the ones that have been completed. And if you're in agreement with that, I can add them up and apply that percentage to the cost new of the house. But yeah. we need to determine grade. Yeah, this wasn't finished. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, what grade is that house? That's a square design, very basic design. One and a half baths, that's pretty minimal these days for a two-story house. On a slab. On a slab. 
So what would it be a C? I can't think in terms of letters. I have to think in terms of the actual grade. So average. The workmanship is included in grade. Workmanship, materials, and design. There you go. But it being a volunteer, and, labor, right? So, and from what we saw initially on our first visit, the workmanship was uh, well below average. Measurement and joining and everything else. Um, and the materials were definitely kind of the bottom of the pile. You know, well, they were adequate. They are adequate, but two by fours that have, you know, is it two by four? Or is it two by six? No, no, it's still two by six. That, it is. That, yeah, yeah. You have I'm to build it. Sure, it has to I be. Two by so. six. But well, at any rate, a lot of them had chunks out. Or holes, cracks through them. But okay, and I understand what you're saying, but they have to be inspected by the building inspector, right? Yeah. So it has to pass. Oh, yeah, but it can still be just a fair and pass perfectly well. Okay. Well, I guess it could be a pull and pass. I yeah, good. As long as, as long as it yeah. hits all the check, check marks, yeah. My inclination, based on what I had seen, was to go with a fair for the grade. But um, you've both seen it as well, so. Well, I don't know. Is there is there one in between? Is there a fair? We usually have a fair to fair to average. I don't think there is. There isn't. Okay. No. We used to. <laughs> I thought we used to. We did in the old system. We had a lot of nice gradations. Yep. So what are you leaning toward? Fair? I'm leaning toward fair myself, but uh well would would that change at all if would they did the finishes? Would that change it, you know, when they built the in did the inside or no? I'm just asking because I, I right. haven't done this before. Right. <laughs> Usually once you settle a grade, it, it carries through as far as that's my thinking. Yes, yes, it okay. does. Okay. Yeah. And so, uh, I mean, I guess unless they were all piled bathrooms and marble, then we'd have a problem. Table, you know, marble counter. But that, yeah, yeah, that, that would be the finishes and that would the be condition, the finish. and not the grade. So I guess well, the grade that would be the grade because grade is is construction, design, workmanship, and materials. So what you put in for materials inside mm -hmm. is part of the that consideration. We don't know yet. At the moment, with so little of the house done, we can put in a, what we see is the grade at the moment. And when we see more finished, that could be changed based on well, that's, more yeah, complete that's what knowledge. I, that's what I was wondering at that. Yep. Yep. So what say you? So it's either fair or average. Or average, one or the other. Well, it's fair. I guess I would say fair. Yeah, I uh, I hate to see a new house as a fair as a fair grade, but it, it's you didn't. I don't know if you saw all the gaps between. Yeah, I stuff talked, and, I wasn't down there when you just saw them. Right. The and uh, the condition right now has to be very good. At least, I mean, it's brand new. Doesn't have so any wear and tear. Put a fair grade and that doesn't seem right. Fair grade and a very good well, condition. Well, what's there is in very good condition. That seems odd. I know it does. <laughs> if you're using fair material to build it because you're thinking it's yeah. substandard somewhat, and but it's in very good condition. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can do that. Can you? Mm -hmm. You can do it. But it doesn't seem right. I wouldn't put very good. <laughs> okay. I would put good. Okay. We'll compromise there, shall we? Yeah, I can't see. It. You can't say it's poor condition because no, it is brand no, new. No, it is. I mean, the siding is beautiful, you know, and it's brand new. And yeah, 
The I windows are all. I mean, if you compare it to other very good homes, I wouldn't call it very good. Even the design, the look, even the, you know, and all that. So I, yep. I wouldn't say that. And so the shed, though, that struck me as being more of an average. But we can go with the same fare. And then. What shed was that? Um, the one that's attached. Oh, over the little porch there. I would imagine it's kind of built the same as the house. Okay, we'll go with the same then and and uh, wait and see what we see as future visits. Probably should try and get them like a monthly visit now as they're moving along. Yeah, do they have an expected finish date? I haven't seen one. That family asked for documentation. I'm sure, mm -hmm. but it's just open studs yeah. inside right now. They may have been waiting for inspections. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people have said that it had to wait for inspections. A lot of people there yesterday when I went by. Uh -huh. I think Tuesday is the day they yeah, the, done the this. inside can get done like. Oh, I know. Yeah. So we should try to swing by monthly when we can. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will. But that's what we have to put down for new growth. For... Yes. I'm now I'll calculate it up based on this mm -hmm. and have a new growth figure to approve for next time. Uh, Mark Benjamin, we certainly didn't gain anything on his cabin, but there's hope for the future there. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, and he had not done any of the work on the house that he had permits for, so that will wait. Mm -hmm. um, we did notice that the barn and attached sheds were all in uh, poor condition. Four. What have we got them listed? Fair. I think they, they should go to poor. I agree with that. You too? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so all the sections of that will go to poor. So we have no new growth. And we'll have an adjustment to value there based on uh, change in condition. Now, what did, what did, you, did you have his house at? Because, we have his house. Because we did see some siding. Average, average. Yeah, I'd let it go with that. I don't think I'd change that. All right. Now we, what about the hoop houses? I didn't know we even taxed hoop houses. If they're a permanent structure. Well, the greenhouses. Are you lowering his, I'm sorry. Are you lowering his grades or keeping them the same? The, his conditions. The sheds. Condition, that's what I meant. Condition is going to be lower. Yeah, the barn is uh, lowered. Okay. Fair to poor. Yeah. Right, I'm not even going that into that's that much right. detail and only putting initials, not names. Right. No new growth. Um, well, the hope houses might be, but well, what kind of condition they were? All the um, gardening people put in the hoop home, the house. Greenhouses. I think it's the hoop home. It's the hoop it's, houses. It's a, it's a greenhouse. Greenhouse. Hoops. With the aluminum. Oh. Struts. Is this still on his property? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yep. Okay. And the heavy, you. heavy plastic over. Well, thank over you. It. Don't you assess them? Uh, we well, have. There's no foundation. We do, we do there's no foundation. Uh, no, they don't have a foundation, but they are. That's what I'm saying there. Yeah. There is no foundation. You assess chicken coops. They don't have foundation. We can look at. I can look at other hoop houses and see what we've done. I know. You know so I can what do you have places. Is Well, we haven't. I was oh, you have had them. Oh, I hadn't, oh you they don't have them on there. Oh, okay. On the I guess you now. can people look them up. I mean, there was the plastic was in terrible shape. They weren't in great shape, true. Yeah. But do you have to put something because they are three? He had three uh -huh. structures on the house. On I mean, we could put a basic couple of hundred dollars on them or something. Well, they were pretty big. Yes, they were twenty one hundred square feet. Yeah, they're what thirty by seventy, probably. That's quite uh, substantial. We'll look it up and see. I mean, okay, it's bigger than my house. Oh yeah, they were big. They're great. These were like greenhouses. Yep. Big greenhouses. Big, yeah. yeah. Yep. These weren't just like temporary little no, these were, door no, things. Commercial under. grade. Yep. Uh now back up to the a little farther north, up to Re uh, Julie Petty and David Redding, that new shed that you walked out through the snow to go oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That nice blue one. Yeah. Um uh, I need a determination. I put it in as basic camp because it does have a little bit of interior finish 
and a wood stove. Pardon me, but I need a grade and a condition on it. Grade, I'd say it was fair. All right. Yeah, it's just a little thing they put together during COVID. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think she said her and her son built it. Yes, yes. And condition good? Average. 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 Yeah. Okay. I'll continue with that. The best part, I had a nice window. Yes. It's view. view. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it had they had a window with a yes. nice view. That was yeah. a really, part. really neat place to go out and just yeah. Yeah, relax. Okay, the Morin's new barn. Uh, the former hobby residence, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, uh, was 20 by 30 instead of the 20 by 40 that had been planned. Grade and condition. Look, they want a horse. They have a barn, I can get a horse. Okay, on. we had seamed steel roof. It's on a slab. It's just on the roof, was just on purlins. So right. No, no insulation, no <laughs> electrical, um, no water. Yeah, no roof sheathing, yeah. I mean, not. Post and beam construction. But it did have the doors. Which oh, was it post and beam inside? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't plan to put electric in it? No idea. Oh. Um, for a one story barn, is what we're starting with here. Mm -hmm. um, they had added the doors, which weren't the original yeah. plan. I mean, uh, but they're just basic swing them and have a. Yeah, have I mean, a uh, Slat. It was well constructed. Mm-hmm. Folks can be, I don't know. I guess I'd have to say the grade would be, I would call it good. Okay. Yeah, post and beam would be considered good. Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't have um, I guess the only thing I was it on a slab with footings? Yeah. And not just yeah, across well, yeah. Two, yeah. Okay. Then I would call it good. Yeah. Okay. And condition. It's very good. No, I'd say good. All right. What would you say? I didn't see anything that would deteriorate, you know. Uh, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> if we had our old system, I would say. I know. In between that two. Uh, oh. um, I guess I'd, I guess I'd say very good. Okay. All right. I'll put in. Good to very good, and let's see what we can come up with. That's, that's I was going to say good to very good. Yeah, but I know. I'll see if it has it. Now I'll have to figure out what I thought about it. Hmm. I thought the condition actually was it was fine. I didn't see any signs of, you know, wear on the corners or anything like that. Oh, it's brand new. Yeah. 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 Okay. Was it shiplap or was it? Um, no, I think it was just you know like they put the lap lap on it. Yeah, it wasn't board and batten. Okay, it wasn't. No, it was just vertical planking, I believe. Yeah, but it was tongue and groove. Oh, was it tongue and groove? Look, as I remember, it was tongue and groove. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, Michael Rosito, uh, the east side Bob Horses house. That had been a little oh yeah, yeah, yeah. in there, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I just drew in the porches, the balcony. Second floor was five by thirty-two, which is not a great deal, certainly. Um, but it did it have the what? dormer. Five oh, by thirty-two, deck. but it had the dormer. Oh, the deck. The... Oh no, I'm no, I'm talking oh, upstairs, talking? the the headroom in the upstairs. You mean the dormer? Yes. You're talking the dormer? No. No. When we measured the six foot. Right. The headroom. Right. The 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 upstairs is bigger than that. We we got to deduct the five by thirty two. Right. We, we came out five feet to get the six feet of headroom. Yes. But the rest of the width of the building. Right. So it's actually going to be fourteen by thirty two. I don't know what what yes, is. Yes, because width it's twenty four. So you're coming out five feet from each side. Yeah, so 24 minus five each side leaves 14, where we have six foot headroom no, going the whole distance. No, I'm, I'm not, 
front side that goes all the way to the top. Yeah. Front side doesn't is leave front side the has the windows and goes all the way straight up. It's got the six feet all the way. It was only the back side. I'm wait a minute. The front side. I'm confused. Are you talking about the road or the way it looks? I I toward the road. It's a the flat, road. It's a flat. it's a slanted roof. Yes. So you got to get rid of five by thirty two. There. Minus. Yes. Yes. The other side toward had, the river. Towards the river had the window. Right, and but it did go in on each side yes. where he I mean, had a yeah, closet. A yes. bit, but there was still, a, I don't know, we got up, did we take a picture of it? I do, it's over in the computer. But, oh, yeah, right. because I think you kind of measured it like in how far. Yeah. Yeah. That's lumber. Roofing is on. Insulation and weather stripping is done. Uh, exterior finish is done. Interior finish, no. Sash doors and shutters, that's done. That's yeah. not true, Rock, really. No. And that's, I believe, where we stop. If... Yeah, he didn't have any electrical done or. No. Nothing. Let me see here. Insulation done. Rough electric and plumbing were in. Oh, they were. Okay, they were in. I think it said finished though plumbing down here. Yeah. Electrical. Okay. Uh, and I have the deck measurements, the balcony measurements. Yeah, minus five feet by 31 upstairs. Yeah, mm -hmm. minus five on east side mm -hmm. over the stairs. Yeah. And then he had a little tractor there that will start a personal property account. Yeah. So, um, once again, the question is, as a house, what is its grade and condition? Is the construction better than the house down to Habitat looked it to me. Yeah, I would, I would say it was it, a better constructed. Yes, so yeah. I I'd lean towards good mm -hmm. for a grade. I would I would agree with that. How about you? Well, and then it had the only thing that was I thought was superior than other ones where it did the double insulation on the roof mm -hmm. because. Uh, so that was kind of a right. good thing. And so, he has the decorative. Sometimes that backfires. Why? Mm -hmm. can. Because it can make the, the airflow in the house too tight and it causes humidity increase in the house. Oh, I guess he'll have to wait and see. He yeah. did it for the noise. Yeah. Yes. But sometimes the double insulation can um, affect your airflow. Mm -hmm. Unless he did airspace between them. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Let's see how that goes. He did do, you know, somewhat of a decorative design here with the shingles, the shakes on here on the end, and then the planking below that. Um, that's a little bit better than average. They call, okay. They call that a um, Juliet balcony. He put up there. Oh, yeah, that's true. The other side, yeah. That's right. How about condition? Ooh, well, that's... Roxy hasn't agreed with the good yet. <laughs> oh, that's oh, oh. Um, well, yeah, great. I mean, it was probably two by six. It was probably yeah. built well. Yeah. Okay, we're good with that. Yeah. Okay. Now the shed, when as a when it was built as a shed or workshop, it was built in 2012, mm -hmm. and we had given it a defective age of 2018. I did not had much wear and tear, but it, you know, it's had 10 years of weathering. Mm -hmm. Um. So. But with the metal roof and good eaves, it's held up very, very well. Yeah. So what do you do for a condition? Well, we'll stay with a good. Oh, um, we did that. Do we want to change the effective year build? Because quite frankly, it's being completely fitted out in 22 and 23 into an older body. Can you... Oh, I, I didn't. Do I didn't think you were supposed to change the effective year because that's well. It's a, it's it's this was a, it was a workshop when that was determined, and well, now it's being converted house. to a house. Right. 
So what did you have it as grade as a workshop? Good. Oh, you did? Yes, Okay. as it happened to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now it's been converted to a house. And they're putting an entire, entirely new interior in this 10-year-old structure. So what would the effect of your built be? I think you have to go with what the computer tells you that it is. Because we put the grade good. It's not finished. No, far from finished. So. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see what it comes up with. I'd be inclined to go something toward 2020. But let's wait and see. What, what was the effect of age? It was 2018. 2018. For the workshop. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's changing the whole use of the place. So yes. I, I would say that probably I would go up to 20, mm -hmm. 2020. Well, I thought that that's the way the whole process was supposed to go, isn't it? My understanding is you give it a grade, you give it the condition, you put in the year it's built or started building or whatever, and the computer program figures out what it should be. But this but is an extraordinary situation. This is this is changing, changing use. Yeah, from a workshop to a house. And so what would have applied for a workshop doesn't it does not carry it through necessarily for the house. Mm -hmm. I'll see what it pulls out. Well, we can change it if we choose to. Okay, we'll, we'll see, see what it comes out like. Yeah. Yep. Because then how is it in the computer as a workshop? Wouldn't that have been like as an outbuilding as a yep. it was as an outbuilding? Yes. Oh, so yeah. Then that's a whole different way of right. computing it. Now. I had to right. take the outbuilding out completely. Yep. You're right. So it should change the the program should change it. Yep. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Now here we have the shed that's out of the old Conan home. The who? Oh yeah. Conan Matsui's. Oh, I didn't think. I don't think we. So even it's the Matsui it. home, not the Conan. Home. Right. That's right. But well, for our purposes of identification. <laughs> for the minutes. Yes, it should be the current one. Um. I know. I know. Miss the old the older. Yeah, yeah. It's six by eight. That's it. Mm -hmm. Uh it's clean. No little bits. There aren't any rough corners or anything, but what's it probably sitting on? Blocks. Blocks. Yeah. 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 So I need grade and, and condition. I put it in as a just a a tool shed, basically. Mm -hmm. That's what I call it. Yep. I take there. Mm -hmm. I guess I'd go with it doesn't have a peak roof or anything. It's just got a flat roof. Yep. On. It's a basic. There's no back door or ramp or anything like that. Just, Very basic. <laughs> just average. Average. Okay. Oh. You, what do you feel? Oh, average. Yeah. Okay. I think I said that. And condition? It appeared to be good to me. The exterior certainly was. I'd say average again. Okay. It would just be. Huh. I go for good. You go for good. But <laughs> yeah. It has nothing. It has no electric or no anything. So I go average. Where do you go? you yeah. you gotta make the decision. Yeah. I'll I'll go I'll go average. I don't okay. Know. All right. I don't think it's <laughs> Yeah, it's nothing like this. Condition. We're talking about condition. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, please. All right. That's all for the moment. More to come, mm -hmm. uh, but not right now. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, Ethics Commission. Mm -hmm. I phoned today mm -hmm. because. I wanted to find out why it had no response. Mm -hmm. And it turns out we, we had faxed it. And I have the 
entry from the fax machine and she couldn't find it there. And so she gave me a different email to send it to. Uh, the email is not available on the uh, website. So I emailed it today and asked for acknowledgement of receipt. So, so where did you email it to? The Ethics Commission. Okay. Yeah, to Monica Brookman, mm -hmm. who's the head of one of the divisions. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm just surprised because I they responded to me in three days. Yeah. Well, how did you get to contact them? Was it I in writing? Them. You phoned them. Mm -hmm. And then she called me back in three days. And then I just, we talked and I told her what I want. And she sent me, I yeah. said, can you give it to me in writing? Yes. And I don't know, that took a few days. That was it. Yeah, I was very surprised. I'd been waiting, mm -hmm. you know. So that's where that stands at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, social media posts. There's a whole new guide about anything we put on social media, personal or office. That's not the guide I was hoping to find. Okay, but does this have that one, but, um, The suggestion is some are saying three, some are saying six, yes. some are saying in perpetuity. Okay. Anything that we put out on social media, whether it's our own, whether it's a shared site, whether it's a personal, you know, email, Facebook, whatever, must be retained because it is public record. Public record. And all the comments. If we're putting it out as an assessor, the posting and all the comments must be retained for a period of three or six or whatever years or in perpetuity. We're working on that. But that was something that just had come out and so I think that's very important to know and be aware of because you've been putting things out on next door um yes yep I don't know count. if that was well it's as your role as an assessor and since your election and I did I said something about you know um as an assess as an assessor, but and it was about getting abatements in on time, and I said yeah. the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, but anything that you put out there as an assessor comes under this law. Okay. okay, okay. So it's important to know. So, how do we keep a record? Of and well, it's each one's individual. I think you have to print them out. I would say. Mm -hmm. That would be, be the yeah. Print them out. Um, we can keep them in your file. Screenshots. Um, it it's up to the post. The poster is responsible for maintaining their records yeah. um but you could do it you can you can print it out you could do screenshots and, mm -hmm. and save the screenshots yep yeah. yeah so this would mean also going back as far as we could to get these and yes yeah yeah i yeah. think it's I not know, because at any point five years from now someone could say you know i remember something and there was a comment and da da da, and they can say i want to see those records because i have a question about something that was said or done yeah. and we have to they, they yeah, because them. all our emails from this office yes. have to be recorded. Yes, well, they are here. Mm -hmm. yep. They're go permanently in the in the town recorder. Emails, mm -hmm. telephone texts, anything that discusses work, even if it's a person to person mm -hmm. text. Yeah, because I think the only one I did as an assessor was that one that I said about. Well, were there some? I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. Oh, did, maybe I did. I think in the summer there was something about if people were interested in the yep. Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, and the property record cards and all. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then there was the one there's a copy of this for each of us. Um, finished your training. Yes. Oh, yeah. Is that, I is hope it? that you'll be able to go mm -hmm. on to the residential training soon. What? There are two courses for a residential valuation. What you've passed is the introduction yeah. to assessment. That's all it's basic intro. Yeah. It doesn't, it qualifies you to classify property. Yeah which means choose the right number code to go with it, a 101 or a 130 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important. Um, we'll try and move forward. I would like to take residential evaluation again. It's been in several years since Is I did. Is that something you can do online? or do Yes, you know? I believe oh. so. Yeah, it should be available. Because uh, I, I, I haven't seen the it. MAAO. I haven't seen it with the LDS. I haven't either. Or DLS. Right, DLS. Yeah. We've got to check on that. 
I know the MAO offers it, but that's a fee. Mm -hmm. But if we have to, we'll pay the fee. Mm -hmm. No, I, because I have a, no it's problem. Important with course. That. Although yep. we have to do the conflict of uh, conflict of interest. Yep. Again, is that's now become an annual. The, right. But, the but one they've that, made the, it much different. The one that I sent out for you is just the annual acknowledgement. It's not the whole class. Oh, you just yeah. have to. It's we're. I am required to send out a notice in December, but because the state was switching to a new system, they asked us to wait till January. I'm required to send out a notice about how we all have to do conflict of interest training every two years. Mm -hmm. Every year, you have to say, "Yep, she told me this," and it's just an acknowledgement. So you just log oh. in, acknowledge it, and that's yeah. it. Oh, okay. you don't have to redo your class until. In a three-year period. In two, two, three years. Period, I was right? going to so, say. <laughs> no, this this is just the acknowledgement. The state is three. The state is suggesting that everybody redo their course now because it's new and different, yes. but not required. Yeah. Okay. Kate took it and she said it's easier because someone is they're they're not just standing there talking to you. It's a much more much more pleasant experience and. Um, so on and so forth. Well, it seems like I've been just taking everything because yeah. I just passed the course and that had the yeah. ethics things in it. And yes. I did it right when I got elected. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh man. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is this is just the annual acknowledgement. So the, the email, I just acknowledge it and you the email will give has a link and I gave you your login info. Oh, so, oh the original one I have. The one that you got from the um from the state. Yeah. Has your oh yeah, I can login. log in. Yeah, it has your login info. You've been assigned a course. That course is the acknowledgement. You just open oh, that up oh, and acknowledge it. It will give you a certificate. It will automatically put the completion into my database. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, we turned in our requested budget, and as did everybody else. And Veronique sent out a message that uh, they've all been put into the overall um, warrant, Article Two, <laughs> and it's coming up. Two hundred and seventy-five or eighty thousand dollars high, or increase than last year. Uh, if we had no extra value to assess, if we were just were doing it against the same value across town, that would be about eighty-five cents on the tax rate, an increase. Well, this so, our budget didn't increase that much, did it? This is yeah. the overall town budget. Yeah, that's ours, what yeah. I was saying. The yeah, overall ours, town. Ours went up about ten thousand dollars. Oh. And then how much did the whole town score? 275, 65, somewhere in there. Well, yeah. so that's a lot different than yes, that. It is. No, but she's, so she's, she's asking, asking everyone. Everyone to look again and see if they can. Yes. Like, I, I mean, I know on mine, I, I trimmed them as much as I could trim them before I submitted them. So on, on my departments, I can't trim no more. Mm -hmm. So I, do we know what departments went up a lot? Can we bring I could, that up? I mean, I... I, I don't know what it doesn't it doesn't no, matter. I mean we can just look at ours and see if there are yeah, any places exactly. where we feel we maybe don't need quite as much as we had hoped for. I don't know. I, I didn't I didn't think it was outrageous. No, it's <laughs> it not wasn't. because you're not it, it's most of it is software expenses and we can't trim our software maintenance. I mean the only thing that you can get rid of is the hundred dollar raise. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, I saw Casol can get rid of a trainee for now. But I, you know, that would take out six thousand. Um, uh, and it's possible that if we were, if I was able to advertise for a trainee in the fall, we could talk to the finance committee then about it, about getting funds at that point for it. Um, and that would also reduce my hours because I. At that point, would have some hours um, designated to train. Mm -hmm. So that would probably put me down to twenty-six. I would That's guess. That's not going to make much of a difference. I'm trying. Yeah, but reducing your hours isn't going to make any difference. Well, no, uh, but she took out the. Yeah, taking out the trainee does, but reducing yep. your hours doesn't because no, I would. You, I wouldn't change. You, you were. You, I'm. I'm busy at thirty. I'm I was going to say you're having a hard time keeping up at thirty. Oh, yeah, you just take out that? the training. Yeah. yeah. Keep your keep the regular hours. Like Jan said, we can all cut our hours to lower our pay, but can we actually right. get the, get work the job done. done? No, we can't. That's right. Postage, we had 
I think you're trying to put it a thousand. If we, if you lower our budget six thousand, you can only lower the other what's people feasible. should lower. You lower your postage, then what happens when you run out of postage? Oh, I know. I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm just saying what we did. Uh, yeah. Uh, we had gone from eleven hundred to a thousand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The uh, um, no, you went from a thousand to eleven hundred. No, last year we had a eleven hundred. We said to put in for a thousand for the next year. So you you lowered it by a hundred dollars. Yeah, which is fine. I'm always sharing my stamps. And we're good. We have a good backlog right now. We have a good supply. Oh. Dues and subscriptions, we had gone up from 250 to 750. Uh, but we've already used 605. Right. Because you the Marshall and Swift is in there now. Right.